keep seeing little flashes of, I think, the scanner behind us. What if I go when one of those flashes appears? I'll go with the next one. Yes! I think that was it. Yes, I entered the scene that it showed. Which is... back here. Well, that's recursion. I don't know if I should do it again or what. Um... Well, it mentioned the keypad near the input terminal. I don't think this is the input terminal, but there is a keypad over here. Just want to see if I can use it now. No. Let's go back. What? Well, oh, that looked really strange. It's like the holographic world was below me. If I only had a team that could deliver on my vision. I think I need to go deeper. I don't think just doing that one level was enough. We're definitely going back into the same thing. <laughs> We're moving faster and faster. <laughs> Fucking love this game. So cool. Is anyone eavesdropping on our conversation? I am sorry. That ship has sailed. Uh, your point being? That's a new voice. Um... There's no keypad. But I guess now we're white shifted, so I guess now I should look around for the memory chamber inside the things chamber. that are different. Would the user be able to find their way out? Simulate the memory chamber inside the chamber. It's a scary thought. Do you really think she could actually do it? What does that even mean? subjects to make new mistakes. I wonder what would happen if I went into the cube now. Would it set me back to red? And I'd kind of have to start from the beginning? Yeah, that's all the same. That's the same. <laughs> Space cats. Wait a minute. This is new. This is different. I've made progress in determining the potential location of the source signal. It appears that one of the valid memory codes is the centered longitude and latitude of site E, limited to equal precision, which likely is non-decimal. Now we just need to figure out which coordinates. Magellan C miter equals... what? An intranet query yielded usable data, but we need more eyes on this.
potential location. One of the valid memory codes is the centered longitude and latitude. Limited to equal position, likely non-decimal, which means, well, if it's non-decimal, I guess they mean uh, integer. Meaning just whole numbers only. I mean, they said site E. Yeah, site E, which is what this is. There's a number down there. There's only five numbers, and that shows six question marks. What is Magellan C Mitre? What, what is that? These are from other sites, so I don't think they're relevant. Yeah, that those notes are the same. As you can see, yeah, that's the same. The similarities are All right, this is super cool. This is basically taking me on an ARG out into the internet searching for stuff about Magellan C. Midar. I googled it, and I found out what it is, and we're going to dig deeper together. So, uh, Magellan is the name of a spacecraft. It was the uh, also referred to as the Venus Radar Mapper. Apologize if this is super small. Um, yeah, mapped the surface of Venus. Deployed in 1989. And when I Googled it, the first result goes to NASA site. I don't know, the URL isn't a NASA site, but whatever. It, uh, I think, has images or something from Magellan. Compressed Mosaic Image Data Record. So that's what MIDAR stands for. Compressed Mosaic Image Data Record. Well, not the compressed part. The compressed part is the C. So... In the game, it says C Midar, question mark, question mark, question mark, six question marks, three, and then dash another three. So let's just read over this and try to understand what I'm looking for in all of this data. C1 Midars are mosaics of compressed resolution image swaths, C biters. <laughs> they really like acronyms, don't they? covering selected areas of the planet. C2 miners are twice compressed mosaics covering a larger area at less resolution. C3, three times compressed, larger area, uh-huh. CD volumes MG underscore 0001 through underscore 0126 contain a mix of F mydars and C1, C2, and C3 mydars. Mm. Click the volume ID to get the volume's top-level directory from which you may access all the files. For an introduction to the volume, there's a README. To find the location of a specific data product, there's a cumulative index. Uh, okay. I don't think the README is useful. However, this might be useful. They're all like entries of data in a database, but like this, for example, I guess that was the data was taken, but what is left? <laughs> What's the difference between these three? Like these are two things with the same MG name, actually a bunch of things with the same MG name, but they have different second column results, different third column results. Also, we are apparently looking for something that's three numbers and then three numbers. Hold on. I'm just checking whether they actually should be all numbers. It says non-decimal, limited to equal precision, latitude, longitude. So I think they should be all numbers. After some searching around, I'm still not entirely sure how to interpret this data, but I don't know if we need this data, actually. Um, I googled around. I found another site that has all of these images. Well, it doesn't have all of them. I think it only has a subset of, I guess, whichever ones they found particularly interesting. But it's a selected group of images from the Magellan taken of Venus, and it has the actual picture in a format that I can actually view. And it also lists uh, central latitude and longitude. Central latitude and longitude. That's what it mentions here. Um, centered longitude and latitude of site E. Yes, so actually I'm making really good progress here. This is site E. So I can probably identify this based on just the looks or Perhaps the number? P43847? And I'm going to see if I can find that online. Yep, 100%. This is it. Check it out. The 
this is the entry for it. Magellan radar image of the Venera 10 landing site on Venus. The exact coordinates of the Venera 10 lander site are not known, but the estimate is centered at... Hello! Near the southeastern edge of Beta Regio, which is also the center of this image. The Venera lander panorama shows Venera 10 landed on a plane, the dark region, and not the brighter... Tessera. Not the brighter Tessera. Hold on. Wasn't it Tessera Valley? Can we simulate yes. The, chamber? Inside the, chamber. the brighter Tessera. So the brighter part like this over here, I guess, is the Tessera. Uh, area feature type. Tessern. Plains and Tessern. What exactly is a Tessern? Social football predictions game. No, that's not it. So there's two groups of coordinates given here for some reason. Um, the Venera 10 lander site are not known, but the estimate is centered at. So we have those coordinates. But then also down here, we have imaging information, or no, uh, location and time information. And here's another latitude longitude, which is very close to this one, but not the same. Um, so the number we're supposed to get is supposed to be three digits dash three more digits non-decimal limited to equal precision i'm not exactly sure what limited to equal precision means however just literally looking at the amount of numbers that it displays for the coordinates wouldn't get me six coordinates if you chop off the decimals like one five two nine one one four two eight three something like that whether you round or not you're still going to be left with five digits so i'm assuming what they mean by Equal precision is that you just add a zero, zero one five dash two nine one. Pretty common thing. Um, yeah, so for each of these two coordinates, I wrote out the two ways to write them. One is just lopping off whatever's beyond the decimal point, not rounding, just lopping it off. And then the other one is rounded. I'm going to guess it'd probably be the rounded version. So I think it's either this or that. This one, I think is most likely. Now I don't actually have anywhere to input these numbers yet, I haven't found the keypad. Also, take a look at this. Not only Tessera Valley, which we just found in that image, but also Venera 17. Remember, um, Venera 10 is what the image we just looked at, or the, the site we just looked at, was talking about Venera 10. Time. Let's try Venera 17 again. Is it going to be the same thing with the rocket? signal delivered with it the technology we use to rebuild the past. Its contents were broken, incomplete. We thought we understood its applications. But what we built, it was just one poor design on top of another until this mess we're in now. But up there, high above all that pressure and scorching heat, the message was finally clear showing us the past and our future. Now, I want you to see. Another ending. Sort of. Back to the menu, but even the menu changes. Now it's also white shifted or inversed or whatever you want to call it. Do you think the keypad is here now? Tested against my latest theory. Oh, so now we're not white shifted. So I think we need to do that again. So we're going to need to become red shifted first. That was your first. Whoa. Um. I think I just did that by looking at the butterfly above the body at the uh, installation site. Sounds like the alarm's coming from the darkness in there, but I can't go there. What the hell is this?
What the hell was Can that? state that more clearly? I would apologize, but unfortunately it would be insincere. Whatever it was, it's it took us out of redshift. Have a good point. Wait a minute. Now the orb's over there. Or not orb, but matrix. What the hell? this message oh it's so creepy um i wrote it down i don't know what the hell's going on anymore but i think we need to enter that at the installation site i thought i had to go back to being white shifted but now i have no idea Should I look at the butterfly again? I'm scared to. Is the butterfly even here? Yeah, there it is. Right there. Just don't zoom in on it. I wonder if it goes away or if it just stays here. Oh, it goes away. Well, kinda. Yeah, so I have multiple passwords now. I have the Magellan codes and then also that other code given by the, the voice, but I just don't have anywhere to enter them yet. Wait, are we blue shifted? I just realized that. This isn't normal, is it? It's kind of blue. System overload detected. So this is not asking me to do any sort of security thing. It's just asking me to reset the system. Sure, I guess. Activating emergency override keypad. Reboot code 000. zero. Zero zero one. Okay, so we don't have to write that, and that's in the format that we need. Um. Hmm. Do I want to try the code that we were just given on the radio, or do I want to try my Magellan codes? I want to try the Magellan codes. So the one I think most likely is zero. Wait. How do I? Can I type? <laughs> you don't type it there, you type it on an actual literal keypad. Okay, uh, 015. 292. It worked! Frequency index unknown. Warning, do not enter unstable simulations without access credentials. Clearance code. Okay, I... Ah! Fuck! What was the code? I think I better do it again, but holy shit! It worked! I got that code from all that research that I just showed you. I cannot tell you how incredibly cool and satisfying that is. That is so fucking cool. Yes, games, do this more. Um... 0... 1... 5... 2... I 
We're green shifted now. This game has the coolest imagery. Sort of singing and talking at the same time. I'm not exactly sure what it said most of the time. I did hear join me. just pressed F again. It allows me to cycle through any of the colors? I still can't press R, though. Oh. And now that I just pressed F again, it took me back here. Is this just redshifted? Can we simulate the memory chamber? Inside the chamber. Would the user be able to find their way out? No, this is different. I take complete responsibility for that. You oversimplified the wave function. That was your first mistake. I don't know what this is, but it's very different than just redshifting. Um. head was here. It said join me. Wish I could fly with the birds. There's so many things to try out now with all these different colors. Is this any different? No. This is different. That's the Magellan Sea Midar thing. Hmm. If the coordinates for this picture took me somewhere, what if the coordinates for these pictures also would take me somewhere? We have B, A, or C, but it's kind of covered up. I might still be able to identify it, but it'd be pretty difficult. 
There's so many permutations here. What if I look at the butterfly now that I've gone into this view? Is the butterfly even here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm scared too. I don't think this... Yeah, I don't think there's anything more to do with this. It's just keypad stuff. Access denied. Denied? Access denied. I think I'll enter the key code that the voice gave me. Right, the thing, the warning we got before we entered all this stuff was don't enter unstable simulations without access credentials, and then it gave me a clearance code. 013F61. But wait a minute, there's no F we can enter here. Well, actually, yeah. Yeah, 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 there is. It has the, uh, the letters for each number as well. Like an old phone. So let's try entering the clearance code, perhaps? 013... F61. Hmm. Let me try that again. <laughs> I didn't double check to see whether I entered it, entered it correctly. F61. See, it shows the dash on the number above us. Whereas the clearance code that it gave us doesn't have a dash, so I don't think it's supposed to be entered into here. No. Okay, let's give the number that we got on the voice recording. 325. 334. Assemblance Office B. Clearance code. Oh, wait. It gives me the clearance code for what we've just entered? Right? Wasn't that the same one that I just entered? Yeah, 325334. That's what I just entered. But then when I entered the... When I entered the Magellan codes, it told me 013F61? If it just repeats back what I type in, how come it didn't repeat back what I typed in? Well, that's bizarre. Here we go. No, oh, it's not a way to get through the door. It's just a way to get into the room. Please enter voice authorization now. Voice authorization failed. Clearly state name is employee. Just like when we looked at the butterfly, except this time everything green shifted. And then I think it's going to reset us when we go back. That's what it did last time. No, now we're staying green shifted. Oh my god. It's called science. I have no idea what's happening anymore. This cannot continue. can't keep track of the permutations of colors and stuff. Access granted. I 
think we're back to normal. Well, I think I'm going to end the episode here, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when we return, I'm going to try a lot of the combinations of from one color to the next to see where I can get us. <laughs>